All right, fellow dusters, welcome back. <clears throat> this is the second time I have uh, recorded this series. This is the first time I managed to uh, completely misrecord in the in the wrong aspect ratio. What a what a delight that was. Regardless, we are here. We are on the Mars. This uh, copy of uh, Surviving Mars, this pre-release copy, has been uh, supplied to me by Paradox Interactive at no cost. So please be aware of that that this is a full dis disclosure on that part. I've actually played the campaign uh, once before, at least a little bit of it, and uh, I also recorded that, and I felt that, you know, I don't want to be, be bumbling through the entire game and basically be, you know, a little bit more experienced and know what I was doing before I showcased everything to the world. If you still want to see all of that stuff, put a comment below and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I got some stuff available for that. Anyway, we're going to Mars. Uh, we're gonna, no, no, there's this main menu is really cool and all. Uh, options, mod editor, mod manager, new game. Let's go for an easy start, shall we? It's nice and quick. It's a nice way of rolling into the game and we'll be arriving on Mars very, very soon. So that's gonna be an exciting time as somebody in my apartment just decided to put something on fire. Well done, sweetie. Welcome to Mars. Look at the Mars. Everybody at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touch down and unload its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building their first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. And we are sponsored by the Mars International Mission. Uh, it would be nice if there was like a hover over here so we knew what that meant. And the commander profile is a rocket scientist, which means that we get um, movable drones relatively early on. Actually, we get that pre-researched. Anyway, let's close this menu and let's not immediately drop our rocket down onto the ground. There is some more important stuff that we need to do. See this button, the orbital probe? Turns out this is really, really important at the start of the game. Because um, we need to figure out what the hell is going on, uh, going on on the ground. I'm quickly going to lower the music a little bit because it is a little bit on um, the loud side. There we go. So... We can select all these tiles, and we can get a general idea what's available on these tiles. Now, we've already got one uh, tile pre-selected. It's Sector G5. It's got concrete on it and metals. Now, that's all, all jolly, but we don't know what's in the neighborhood. And uh, we kind of need some stuff around it. Now, there is a high chance that this sector contains metals, which is good, because we need that. And we have four probes that we can shoot into this area. Now, do we want to shoot a probe at this? No, 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 we, don't, we definitely do not. We want to find an area that has preferably concrete metals and water in it, if possible. And we can get some high level, uh, high quality rare metals, that'd be good as well. So let's go and have a look-see around, see what we can find. This sector has been pre-selected by, um, by Mission Control. Uh, overall, it's not looking too good so far. Metals, concrete, buildable area, buildable area, metals... Yeah, it's not looking good so far. But there's water and concrete over here, but it's inside of a crater. Which is not the best of ideas to go into. Then this area down here. Concrete metals. Metals. Polymers. You can get polymers out of the ground? I've never seen that before. But then again, I've only played the game for like maybe like four hours. So, so we could potentially find some metals over here. Concrete and metals over here. Water and concrete over here. This seems to be like a good sector. So let's go and send an orbital probe down in here. We found some metals. Uh, there's 159 metals on the ground, which is a staggering amount. Okay, so that is a good sector. Uh, this is the... I need one with potentially water, if possible. Uh, this metals and concrete over there. Milestone achieved. Water Milestone. is available here, and as well as concrete. So this is already looking very good. Okay, buildable area, concretes and metals. I, I kind of want to scan this flat area because it does have a lot of terrain. Uh, okay, so let's do this. More metals. That's good, and also some concrete. We got one more probe, and let's send this probe over here. We didn't find anything, but there is some buildable area over there, and we'll set this as a preemptive scan 
and basically we will get a, a good idea of what's going on on the surface of Mars, at least. Let's actually cancel this one and put you over there. There we go. So this line is where we could potentially put down our spaceship, which is very exciting stuff. Uh, so this has a lot of metals over here. It's a high grade metals as well. What that means, I have no idea, but it does sound important. Uh, this is also high grade metals. Is there any H2O nearby? Yes, there is. Average quality. This uh, concrete deposit is very small. This one is a bit better. So I'm tempted to do the following. I'm going to put down my ship somewhere around here. This looks like another potential deposit, actually. I'm going to put my ship down here. And 787 metals over here. Yeah, okay. So our first dome is going to be in this particular area. And then you may ask, you may ask, Aspect, why exactly do you want to put the dome in that area? Because the building that uses the metals can only be manned by colonists unless it is uh, automated so that's uh, really important there so let's put the it's called the liberty one what a great name for a spaceship <clears throat> all right let's uh put this bad boy on the ground there she comes we hit m we can see her come in oh it's it's gorgeous so there she is we're going to immediately rename this spaceship to some uh, assembly Required. So the theme of this particular playthrough is that all of our major spaceship and drones are going to be named after um, culture-esque stuff. Like Ian Banks, basically. Oh, look, it's our RC rover. This is uh, our mobile base, basically. There is our explorer, who is immediately going to go explore, and our transport, which is basically moving stuff around. And I'm immediately sending him out to find some resources. Let's get some storage going. I, I'm building a universal depot right next to the rocket. So I can uh, at least get all the resources unloaded quickly. And then we need to start finding a location to start building our power. Uh, considering the entire game is built on like a hex-based system, uh, the power lines may come out in a really awkward way. To the point where it may trigger some people. But thankfully the camera can rotate, so, you know, it's uh, it, it, it's it's not going to be a major problem. Thankfully we found the mother load of all metals on Mars. It is kind of staggering how many metals there are down here. Which is good, and we also can find the new tech. Uh, biomagnetic filtering, oxygen produce, uh, it produced, uh, fuel compression, which means that our cargo rockets can bring 1, 000, uh, 10 thousand kilos more. Uh, robotic swarm drone hubs are constructed with two additional drones autonomous sensors and crowdfunding money is good sensors are good robo actually if we do the robo ports first we get a free robo port and start the game so we don't need the money just yet we don't need the sensors just yet we do need the fuel compression magnetic filtering is good as well so let's queue all this stuff up and uh, get some materials going so the reason why I've just selected all that stuff is because uh, uh, basically we've got more, we've got money to spend. We got uh, twenty six billion dollars, which is good. We can also uh, we can also rename our rocket. What shall we rename our rocket to? Um, uh, unexpected apocalypse. There we go. So, on, this is our rocket, Unexpected Apocalypse. Next one should be called Peregrine 2. Excuse me? The next one should be Peregrine 2. Peregrine 2. Okay. Why? Because it's currently the Falcon 9. Oh. The, per the, the, per the, the Peregrine 10, which is clearly not the Falcon 9. That's very clever. <laughs> uh, our RC Explorer, which is currently just building stuff. Uh, let's get some power going on Mars, because, you know, power is important. I'm a little bit worried about these shadows. Uh, but I don't think it's going to impact us during the daytime, at least. So the cool thing with these... Uh, with these... Uh, with these things is, is that they are built on, like, again, on a hex-based structure. Now, if I would put this... Um, if I put the solar panel down in here, it's going to annoy me till the end of time due to the way the spacing works in this game. So I'm going to put it one more behind, and then I'm going to turn one by hitting the middle mouse button. And fit it right down the middle, and it's actually going to look decent. So, yeah, and also a little bit more efficient in our uh, spacing. I'm also going to send a power cable to that. And just uh, power this up. 
good. Now, we have a lot of metals on the ground here, which is great. Uh, we will take the opportunity to build a meadow depot next to our other depot. There we go. And we have so much concrete here as well. So let's build a concrete depot whilst we're at it. That's uh, going to be our concrete storage and our metal storage. So this RC rover, this, uh, this transport, who we're going to be renaming as well. Uh, how about um, no more Mr. Nice. Is nice is, is nice guy? Yeah, Mr. Nice Guy. There we go. No more Mr. Nice Guy. RC Rover 1. We are going to call uh, the Terminist. There we go. And then RC Explorer 1 is going to be the Ends of Invention. Perfect. Anomaly analyzed. So we got new texts are available for research. The barren environs of the yeah, yeah, yeah. planet that meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove. So we now have access to technology, low, low G so hydrosynthesis, you know and soil adaptation. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that we can get access to new technology, like low G hydrosynthesis, which means that we can build a polymer factory very early on, I must, I must say, as well as a fuel refinery very early on as well. Uh, they're a little bit expensive, they require a bunch of resources, but they will allow us to become more self-sustaining on Mars. Soil adaptation as well, we can get the farm, which is a in-dome building. We will talk about domes in a little bit once uh, we get to that point. Okay, so... Let's... Get the concrete extractor online. We need six metal and, five, and two cogs. Now this is our, our pile of materials, so we need to be a little bit clever with our positioning here, which should be like this should be fine. And we need to hook this bad boy up immediately to our power lines. So this is what I was talking about, about the triggering of the... Okay, let's just bring you down to here, yeah. So this is a power line. We're going to build power, power stuff down here. So this is now connected to our concrete extractor, which is coming up. We will also take the opportunity to build our drone hub, which is going to be char, uh, which is going to be controlling a lot of our centralized stuff within the colony. Now I could put it down here. The problem with this is I'm going to need to build another drone hub at some point to cover both the power lines as well as the dome that I'm going to be building in this general area. Again, I want to get the mineral, uh, the metals as soon as I can. So what we'll do is, is that we will place the drone hub right here. We can also build a shuttle hub. Uh, I don't want to, it's very expensive. And power cables. Now the problem is, is that during nighttime, solar panels obviously do not work. So we need to start building these power accumulators. However, we cannot do that yet until we have our concrete uh, facility online. However, we got two free uh, sterling generators with us, which means that we can use those to power our stuff, which is exactly what we want anyway. So where should we build these? Uh, this is just our, our general backup power, really. So we can just build that here and here. So there we go. So the buildings are coming in. You are not working because you do not have enough power because it's nighttime, of course. Are you full yet? Nope. You are just uh, badgering along. The ends of invention. So let's move you out towards another, another, another mystery to be found on the, the grounds of Mars. This power button is basically illustrating if we've got enough power in the actual rover. Uh, which clearly is important. So there we go. Uh, which one was my milestones? Launched a rocket from Mars. Found, Mar uh, found Mars on the first sole day. Constructed dome. Our first Martian born. Our first duster. Produced food. Produced a breakthrough. Scanned all sectors. Th and then all the way up to a thousand colonists. And then a mega dome. And then a wonder. I've never seen a mega dome. I have no idea what it looks like. I'm sure it looked badass. And Mega, because it's a Mega Dome. Ergo. I'm kind of tempted to bring down... Considering the amount of materials that we have available to us. I'm kind of tempted to bring down a fresh spacecraft. So let's, let's get another rocket. Let's get a cargo rocket. I want a transport. 
and an explorer in there. We don't need a rover. We've got... Um, that should be fine. Let's get a couple of prefab buildings as well. I want a fuel refinery with me. That's fine. We don't need the machine electronics. Oh, we do need the polymer factory at some point. But we do need colonists for that. I do want two more drone hubs. So we can... Let's make it three. Yeah. We've got more than enough resources. So let's get some polymers on this bad boy. We've got 20 tons remaining. Uh, maybe an orbital probe or two. Some more additional resources. Some machine parts if we can. There we go. Uh, polymers. Okay, so this should be okay. We could get some additional drones. Like one. And that leaves us with $23 billion. And we got uh, enough rockets. Oh, we got a, a new rocket we need to rename. So let's uh, let's 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 rename these this rocket to something cool. Again, like I mentioned in the bottom, um, just add your add your ideas of you know what should the rockets be named, what should the drones be named. There are so many so many cool things here. This is going to be called um, trade surplus. Here we go. So let's launch a rocket. It's now on its way to Mars. Um, it will be here in a few souls, which is clearly a lot faster uh, than uh, what it would do in real life. Maybe it's running on a Vasimir engine instead of the Falc, uh, instead of the Draco engines that the uh, uh, the BFRs run on. Um, the Vasimir engine is basically a 40-day trip to Mars and back. That's in 40 days and in 40 days. Uh, it's apparently under uh, in, in research right now. It's going to take like a decade or two before it's done. But it works in like superheated plasma. And uh, it thrusts things into space quite rapidly. So our uh, drone rover, the, the Terminus, is currently on standby. It doesn't have to do all that much because uh, the drone hub is over here. What we can do, however, is move him into a position where... Like, uh, he does require power, and he comes with his own drones. But we can set him up here to start collecting all this metal on the ground, which we are going to do. So, let's get a metal depot up and running. We're needing that metal depot anyway, because we're going to be building that dome in this general area. And there is the metal extraction area right there. So, what we'll do is we'll build the depot here. It, it's a little bit far away from any, uh, from stuff. So let's um, move you over here, and then it will come with its own drone. So they're all the drones are all loaded on board, so they'll pop out of the back, and uh, just do it like that. So let's speed things up a little bit, hitting plus, and uh, are still have those drones sitting around? Okay, yeah, this is, they're, they're just chilling. Cool. So we got power online, we got that online. I think it's time we start building some water vaporators. Yeah, so let's get some moisture evaporation up and running, as well as a moxie for power and uh, the oxygen that our colonists are going to need. So this is all running by a pipe system. So let's get some cables up and running, all the way down here. This is going to be our general power situation anyway. But down here we can build all of our stuff related to pipes and whatnot. So let's get this going. Yeah. Just like just like this. Like that's pleasing to the eye. Yeah. Like maybe maybe one more. There we go. And let's spread it down here. That's perfect. It's beautiful. I love it. So we can start building some pipes on top of that. Can we Yes. Okay. So we'll start moving the pipes in this general direction to where where we're going to be building the dome. And let's get our Moxie up and running. So the Moxie is basically our main supply of oxygen. But we need a moisture vap anyway. So let's build a moisture evaporator. So we'll build you right here. Cool. Apparently we don't have enough power. So we'll fix that by adding another solar panel. There we go. And as you can see here, we want to do something really cheeky. I'm just going to build some, some rows of power. Perfect. So four more solar panels are going to come online. Do we have the resources for this? Most likely not. But, you know, it's the idea that counts, right? 
Yeah, how much do we need for this? Four metals, which we have more than enough of. So let's uh, get uh, these analyzed. metals. New techs. Oh, wow. Adapted probes. Explorer AI. Loji High Rise, which is one of the best one. ones I can get at the start so of the game. You know Water Reclamation. So we have got a bunch of incredibly useful techs, specifically the Loji High Rise. If we can get this before some of the other techs, we can completely skip the basic uh, buildings in the game. This is actually incredibly good. So we don't need crowdfunding. Fuel compression we do need. So let's get like Loji High Rise. Adapted probes is also very good. And then we can go back to getting more money from Earth. So you need some power most likely. Unless you have something to scan, which you do. Good. Okay, so our moisture vap is currently not connected. That was to be expected. But that's fine. Uh, how much do we need for a water tower? Three metals. So we're just going to connect our water towers into our system. There we go. So we have two water towers ready to go. They're set next to the pipelines. And this is all going to move parallel to here. And then towards the dome, that's going to be, like I said, in this area. Uh, we need to build a dumping site, actually. So, a dumping site. Um, what is a good spot for a dumping site, really? Uh, I would say over here. The drone hub is still within range. It is. My rocket is not ready just yet. And on top of that, we can extend these water pipes to plug into this underground water supply that's over here. Which is uh, pretty good. Okay, so you are... Done getting okay. See the the rovers are basically just pouncing back and forth trying to get these um, these metals out. So our other rover doesn't need to do this. So we can send the other rover in the other direction, whilst this rover is basically collecting all the materials here uh, for later on. I'll actually get another metal de depot here. So basically, we're getting additional Someone storage. We found kryptonite. It was because of the greenish yellow hue of the beryl crystals. The contrast with the red Martian dust made them appear almost alien. Even if they wouldn't make any of the colonists superhuman, they would surely give us almost supernatural powers. Our mission, our plans at Mission Control included the introduction of a long-term nuclear energy solution for a glow, growing colony. And the beryllium that we, uh, that we would produce from these mi uh, minerals would be an immense help in this difficult mission. We could encase the nuclear fuel rods of our nuclear reactors in beryllium and make good use of its incredible mechanical and chemical and nuclear properties. The technologies in Physics 3 gain a 10% boost. That is amazing. That is a huge deal. That's a huge deal. Uh, let's take the opportunity in the meantime to recharge our rover and then find some more, uh, more stuff on Mars. So we're scanning all this stuff right now. We want to speed up that process. So let's build a sensor tower. We'll put that in a nice strategic location down in here. Nice at the center of the colony. So the sensor tower is going to allow us to be relatively quick when it comes to upgrading this stuff. I Did, did I not connect this? Oh, it's, no, it's not connected to a building that's using the water. So right now we are controlling... We're, contr we're building water, but we're not... Or at least we're um, vaporizing water, but we're not using it for anything. So let's get this Moxie online. Okay, so let's get this Moxie over here. Uh, let's just for safety just build two of them. I don't know I have enough resources for that, but we will find out soon enough. Let's connect this to a pipe. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, so we need five metals for that. Metals are not going to be a problem. We've got a huge storage of metals over here. Um, how's the rover doing? Okay, the rover has more than enough power. Plus, we're getting more metals over here. Now, the main reason... Oh, 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 oh! The camera went on a bender. So, the main reason why we're sending this area, this rover over here, to A, collect all this metal, and B, to clear this area so we can use that, uh, use that area for later. Good. So this still has a decent amount of deposits available. So what's the issue here? We cannot build this because we do not have enough metals in this part of the colony, no doubt. So good thing we got this rover. Our, our rocket is ready. The, the trade surplus has arrived. 
So let's just get this unloaded and get trade surplus on the ground. So we'll land you over here. There we go. So there's trade surplus next to some assembly required. And this is going to unload a bunch more rovers that we're going to need anyway. So end of invention is ready to go. Let's go and find, discover some stuff. Yeah, like I said. Okay, so we're going to go and pick up some some metals from this area. Oh, we need to select that. Right. Okay, so that's uh, you. Okay, so load resources, metals. So now he will go and pick up those metals and then we'll shuttle those back towards the area where they're actually needed. Water is online. Good. How is power doing? Hourly production 60. Total demand is 30. We should probably use this opportunity to build some power capacitors. And this is a block of four. Sector scan. So Anomaly found. Let's just do it like this. So we'll just build four capacitors, and then we can build more power over here. We found some new anomalies. Exciting stuff. Who knew Mars would be such a mystery? A Pandora's box of ideas. I have no idea where I was going with that, but, you know, it sounds cool. And that's all that matters, damn it. Priority. There's okay. more to the barren Logi fungi and the systematic planet. training. Good. Okay, so no more Mr. Mice guy is going to unload is metals over there we're currently unloading our materials from the spacecraft let's we'll use another universal depot here the universal depot we're not going to be using those forever uh, we're going to be doing specialized areas but for now for just unloading the rockets the universal depot is actually kind of useful okay so you should be ready good so let's get these materials and I have two more rovers. I got another. I got another explorer rover, and uh, this is going to be called uh, Per. How do you guys? Uh, Peregrine. Peregrine. Peregrine X. You know, it's totally not Falcon Nine. Right, we'll send you over here, and then we got this rover, and we're going to use this bad boy to get more materials. And then there's the ends of invention, who's going to go and move out over here to find out what's going on over there. So, we got you, RC Transport number two. Uh, yeah, I got a perfect name for you, RC Transport number two. You are going to be called Profit Margin. Oh, Margarine. So, it's like, now it's, now it's called Butter. Now it's Profit Butter. That's not good. There we go. So, these two are basically going to go around to pick up metals all over the shop. Pretty much constantly. And uh, it, it's going to allow us to get a huge amount of resources. Like, especially down here. Like, right now, we are very much forced to do planetary, uh, at least pick up materials from the ground. Which is obviously a suboptimal way of doing things. Sector scan. Uh, we are currently not sending any oxygen from the Moxie over to any oxygen tanks. And we should fix that. So let's get these pipes rolling. Into this general direction. Let's just uh, start building this in towards the direction that we want it to be. So this is our water supply. Are you... Why did I build oxygen tanks? These are not what I wanted at all. <laughs> okay, so I accidentally built some oxygen tanks where I should have built capacitors. Uh, I like how the game is like, hey, you want to build some domes? Yes. There we go. That's what we wanted. So we'll... We can blow these up later. Uh, it's not a problem right now. It just looks a little bit weird. How are we doing power-wise? 60 out of 19. Nocturnal adaptation. Systematic training. Cool. Well, Robot Swarm is about to be done. We could potentially... Yeah, this is really annoying. This is going to really annoy me that these oxygen tanks are just sitting randomly. I, I like how the music, it, it feels very... I want to say Mass Effect, almost. Like, it, it has, like, this space opera feel to it. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, so let's build some 
These are power accumulators. I keep on doing this. These should be oxygen tanks, you absolute nub. There we go, oxygen tanks. There we go. So we'll build four oxygen tanks. Actually, maybe we'll just build two of them and not waste too many resources. And that should give our Moxie enough time to do stuff. And then we can expand our our power supply as well. Oh, you need some power. You're good still. So we're going to send you over to here. So profit margin. No more Mr. Nice Guy needs to recharge. All right, cool. Our power accumulators are coming online. Polymers are starting to become a problem. Okay, the robots have almost cleared the area. That's good. Can I build a dome yet? I need 80 concrete for that. I don't have nearly enough concrete for that. So let's get another concrete extractor then. Okay, so another concrete extractor. We will uh, decommission this at some point, but uh, right now we can't. So we'll just connect this all up. Get more concrete in. We need 80 concrete in order to do stuff. So the Peregrine X is currently not doing anything. You are also done. So the end of invention will send you back. We'll send you back home to recharge for a little bit. No more Mr. Nice Guy is basically done recharging as well. Peregrine X will do the same thing. We'll send you home for some recharging. There's no other anomalies on the ground at the moment that we can see anyway. So we'll just scan around the landing site. I got some additional probes though that I can use for scanning. Sector scanned. No resources. That's unfortunate. Ooh, hello there. Rare metals. That's what I wanted. So one more probe. Anomaly found. I found an anomaly. Good. That's a science anomaly as well. So let's send the Peregrine Research X out there. Complete. Drone swarm has been finished. That's good. Uh, Loging turbines is to improve a bunch of stuff. So the reason why I want the Loji uh, habitation is though I can basically squeeze more colonists inside of a dome. Cable fault reported. Uh oh, a cable fault. Well, that's not good. So here is the problem with this game. Uh, well, not so much the problem with this game, really. It's more of a you need to build redundancies pretty much everywhere. So this, for instance, this single pipe. If the pipe leaks, we we're gonna have a problem. Let's put it that way. And we don't want to have a problem. Okay, so the moxies are online. Oxygen is being pumped in. And for instance, if a uh, storm comes in, or a meteorite, and it destroys one of the lines, our power is going to be completely boned. In this particular scenario, at least. So we're going to need to build some power lines. So We can just push this down the middle. Is this efficient? I never said it. Is I never said it was. Okay. Oh, I'm one short, am I? Oh, that's gonna annoy me. Yeah, this is one. Sh this is one shorter. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. Okay, that's uh, visually no, not the most enticing thing. But the only reason we're doing this is for is for um, making sure that we have some redundancies in place. Do we have any other anomalies? No, we do not have... Oh, but there's an anomaly down there, but it's really far away. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Okay, so let's send the Peregrine back. It would be really nice if we had, like, a docking bay. Fuel compression is very good, so now we can squeeze more stuff into our rocket. If it delivers something. And this rocket is slowly refueling. This one has unloaded everything. You've unloaded everything. That's good. How are we doing resource-wise? We got 74 concrete. We need 80 concrete in order to build our first dome. So this is going to take some time. We're currently on Sol Day 5. If we can get the dome ready and bring in our first colonist by Sol Day 10, we will be in a good position. In the meantime, let's build another drone hub. I wish we could just 
Oh, wait, we know that right here. So we'll build a drone hub over here. That should cover this area. And let's take the opportunity here to build some more power lines. Just down the middle. Again, this is not an efficient way of doing this because of the chances of the of any meteorites hitting these pipelines. But it looks aesthetically pleasing, and that's all that matters. You know, why would you why would you build something in space? Make it look practical. Blah. Ew. We got a building that's not working. That we knew about that. That's a drone bay. Uh, we need some basic resources here. So what I generally do is I put a universal depot next to every single drone bay. Just to cover the basic materials. So it can use those when necessary. Okay, do I have space for a dome? I do indeed. So if I build a dome right there, that'd be the perfect spot. Except it overlaps some deposits. There we go. So that would be the perfect spot, basically. It's in range of the mine. Yes. Like This one would be even better. Oh, hello. What's the resources? It's low. That's rare metals. Like, metals... Rare metals is something we need as well, but we'll... We'll have to use a second dome to to process these. Oh, this is the high value Sector one. Scanned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have more sectors to scan. We could also change the music, by the way. Like, uh, for instance, the Red Frontier. And all of a sudden, it's uh, ye all Western Cannery. Excuse me? Oh, it's not? Oh, really? Oh, okay. I did not know that. So I'll put the basic music back on. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So the drones are on their way to build more stuff, I would hope. Yeah, it's within range of the... Of the drones themselves. And the dr the drones, they actually come... Like the buildings, they come... The hubs become their own drones anyway. So that's good. Um, you are still doing mining. You are full, I believe. So having some sort of icon saying, Yo, we're full would be useful. But sadly, not in the game as of right now. Oh, man. Like if we build a dome over here, we can get... Underground metals and rare underground metals at one go. Instead of just... I should not try to shoot for the stars immediately. Like, as much as I would like to. And sadly, not uh, all that practical. Okay, so our oxygen tanks seem to be doing fine. We need to build some redundancy systems here anyway. Sector I'm, scanned. I'm tempted to build another pipeline in this general direction. So we have some parallels, but... Okay, so you are full. So let's send you home. And no more Mr. Mice Guy can continue on. So the Ants of Invention and the Determinists are on standby for now until we find some more uh, amazing anomalies. The rockets are not ready yet. How are we doing concrete-wise? 86. So we are ready to build our first dome. We've got enough oxygen. We've got enough water. We've got a... A job for them to do. Let's build a basic dome. In a good position. Right here. Let's... I don't want to build it too far from stuff. But I still want it to have the ability to be aesthetically pleasing. So, this one right here. It's also far enough to not be an issue with the... Regolite mine that's up there. So this should be the right one. Cool. So let's build this dome. Okay, cool. So that's going to be connected to the building. And then we have our power supply. Uh, if I can build the power cables, that is. There we go. So that's going to be connected up. 
So we have a, an underground metal mine here that we can have the colonists man. But at some point we'll have a technology that that stuff will be automated as well. So, so profit margin. Uh, let's send you back here. Uh, this rover here, we don't really need it in this area anymore. So we're going to use this. Uh, we need to do the recharge, actually. So let's have the drone recharge. Like, he's built up a significant amount of uh, resources for us. For this area. Which is what we wanted anyway. <coughs> it's what we wanted anyway. Yeah, our first 10 sold so far have been going nice and smooth. How are we doing power-wise? More than enough. We got 800 power in storage. We got oxygen tanks that are completely full. Our water towers. These water towers are being... Uh, are having some issues because the concrete extractors are here, which makes them dirty. And there is no cleaning events on Mars. Which is... Uh, at least there is no cleaning events in this game, at least as far as I've seen. What we may want to do is we want to tap into this on the water water deposit under while ground water deposit which is under life support obviously water extractor we need six concrete and two cogs totally doable so let's build that this is I believe this is an automated structure so we can just plug Sector this bad boy scanned. in let's get some pipes going as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is not half bad. Like, it looks good. It's aesthetically good. We got... We need to build another pipe system over here for redundancy reasons. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this so far. So let's get this dome online. We're just getting some concrete back and forth right now. Uh, the... This thing is... The storage facility is within the range of both roboports. Which means that any robot can uh, service any building within their area using the centralized... Oh, there's the Logi high-rise as well. So we're just in time to get that. Which means that we do not need any... Let's send this rover. We need to send some minerals somewhere. Like, there's still 51 minerals in this area. 51, yeah. So let's get our recon rover, uh, our RC rover out, our determinist. Slow things down a little bit. Uh, I don't think we have. Yeah, we, we've got this unexplored thing down here. So, this is our first dome, and then we'll build our second dome over here. I think that'll be a wise setup. So, let's get this dome going. Do we have power? Just making sure that we've got power locked into here. Power cables. Yes, okay. So just waiting for stuff to come online. We've got more than enough metal. So we can even build a machine shop in there if we really want to. Okay. Do we have decommissioning technology yet? Uh, not I can see, but we are getting adapted probes. Soil adaptation. Obviously important. We can get Nocturnal Adaptation, which is a breakthrough. I am kind of tempted to outsource some technology. 10,000 science for two, two billion dollars in five souls. Let's do it. Just having some basic tech would be good. And one of the achievements for the game is to get a lot of tech very early on. You still have 109 deposits. 218. And we can build two or three more materials over here as well good excellent so our water is online as well <clears throat> so now we need to start building our redundancy lines So, we can build a redundancy line over here. So, you are coming through here. Into this redundancy line. And that's a life support pipe. We can salvage this for the moments. 
There, there we go. So then we have another line ready to go down here for safety. So power is being redistributed. We can put another power set up here for redundancy. Maybe put another set of water pipes and the other uh, water storage tanks on the other side, also for redundancy. So if something goes horribly wrong with one area, we at least have the secondary area to back everything up. You are not connected properly. Research complete. Oh, that is not annoying at all. <laughs> oh, that is going to annoy me so much. Well, that's how it is. Doesn't look good, but whatever. So one more piece of concrete will be enough. There we go. The dome is coming online. Oh, it's gorgeous. Eight souls to get all of this rolling. Not bad, if you ask me. Like, power is a bit underwhelming at the moment, but that was to be expected. Yeah, it's nighttime right now. But we've got more than enough stored power as well. So, oxygen is there. It's nice and far away from any of the production facilities as well as the rocket landing zones. So, here we go. Milestone achieved. And our first living quarters on Mars has been built. We have our first dome, and we're going to be populating that with colonists on the next time. I hope that you enjoy the start of this series on Mars. And in all honesty, I think it's, uh, I think it's a good time so far. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take good care of yourselves. And welcome to Mars, Dusters. <laughs>